And today our story begins with such an incredibly huge house, you must agree that everyone would like to live in one. The real king of this place, named Yong San, sat in it and waited for the next person to enter the room. No matter how terrible it was, in 1505 the king became a tyrant who decided to destroy almost the entire people. And his desire to play Monopoly with beautiful ladies became stronger every day, and they no longer even knew what to do with it. Apparently they went through a special selection just like on some show, but none of these girls could make the king stop wanting to play board games. Two more girls walked into the room, and the king's assistant did not understand why they were so slow, let them quickly enter the room and play a board game with him. And the king himself simply sipped his drinks and thought only that all the girls he met were simply terrible. In the end, the king still managed to find the man about whom there were many rumors, but this bastard still had not arrived, and so he began to throw bottles out of anger. The assistant tried to calm his king at least a little, saying that they would try to bring him as soon as possible. And then some guy appears in the room and, shouting that he has finally arrived at this place, he entered the hall. According to the boy, this was the only chance that he could get out of poverty, so he needed to show himself in the best light in front of the king. The king himself knew very well that the boy had some kind of abilities that could drown out the feeling that made him want to play Monopoly. He apparently turns out to be some kind of real wizard and tells his king that he can do such a trick. According to the king himself, this was a very unusual trick, and if the boy was telling the truth, then he would fulfill absolutely any of his wishes. Taking the dagger out of its sheath, he says that there was one thing, but of course he could fail the task. He pointed a sword at him and said that the guy would simply have to teach him that very secret technique, and the guy himself thought that there was only one step left to take on the path to a better life. Of course, the punishment for failing the mission would be death, because it would turn out that he would deceive the king himself, and this was completely unforgivable. The boy himself simply silently looked at the king while the blade was pressed to his throat. He certainly had no room for error. After which the actions are transferred into memories in some field three years ago. He worked for too long and didn't even get paid for it. Even now the guy's cart was stuck and they couldn't go any further. While they are trying to solve the problem, the main character wants to tell us that his late mother said that he should have become a nobleman. But apparently this did not happen. It's just that his father ended up being made a farm worker after being accused of a false rebellion, and since then he said goodbye to the nobility. The boy, of course, doesn't even remember that time because he was just a child. His father was simply shocked that he managed to pull out the cart, like a real gigachad, but he just said that it was quite difficult. Sometimes the boy thinks that he could one day become an excellent nobleman, but he doesn't complain about his life either, because he has food and a place to sleep. Meanwhile, the girl brought food for the guys. Name is Yoon Sol. And it was all thanks to her, she was as beautiful as the daughter of a nobleman. All the guys were so happy that the girl brought food for them, even serving it to the main character separately. The guys in the background began to argue about who would be the first person to start dating her, but according to the main character, even if he were reborn, he still would not have a chance. But he apparently does not lose hope at all and asks everyone to look at him, because Hyung Nim will receive the heart of a beautiful lady right now. This idiot with crooked teeth is called Doc Goo, and he says that if someone sees the main character right now, he will laugh because he has never even held hands with a girl. He is a typical Dota 2 player. Of course, a fight breaks out between the guys and the main character convinces him that he was holding hands with home. Another reason why the guy likes this life was his best friend. Another girl named Akmi arrives and immediately separates the guys because these two idiots could get hurt. The girl was like a sister to him because she constantly looked after him. She said that there was no need to get into a fight every time the opportunity arose. And the young master was also looking for him, so let him go to him. Afterwards, he shouted to his friend that he would let him get away with it only this time, and only because his sister was there. Doc Goo did not understand such mercy, and, like a small child, began to stick out his tongue at him. But it seems that the place where that cool master lives is where the main character should have come. By the way, he, the master, swore at him because at his age it's time to start a family, and this idiot is doing something incomprehensible. Master Lee's name was, and he was wondering if out of all the girls that surrounded him, the guy really didn't like anyone, it's easy to say. That's what a beauty is sitting next to him. Then for some reason his name changes, and now his name is Lee Mung Ryong. The boy talks about how he still has a lot to learn, and has absolutely no time to look for a soulmate. In fact, the guy simply could not tell the master that he was not going to get married. Not in this, not even next year. Then suddenly the girl who had been sitting next to Master Lee all this time decides to activate and tells him that she really wants to play poker. Of course, this cannot wait. So the poker game begins immediately and the main character can leave here. He seems only glad that the conversation with the master ended so quickly. At the same time, all he had in his mind was that a real man should make his contribution and he can find a wife later. 
especially since he feels terribly awkward when talking to his father. Damn it! It turns out that this is not the main character. He just came to the young master. This idiot in a strange hat turns out to be the young master. It's great that the main character came here just in time because he has some errand. He had to deliver one letter to a girl named Chun Yang and also make sure that no mistakes were made anywhere. Of course, the young master's order was clear and the task would be completed in the best possible way. But all this time, he only looked at what was happening inside this house, where his father just arranged an excellent poker game. It seems that his father was a really greedy and terrible person. The character of the young master is also not particularly different from the character of his father. He just tried to behave more calmly in front of him. At that second, the door to the house suddenly closed. At the moment, the young master is trying to get the attention of the girl to whom he wrote a letter. Her name was Chun Yang, and she was the most beautiful girl in the area, and of course, everyone wanted to date her. The main character simply accepted his letter, and as soon as he went out into the city, he began to wonder how long he would have to wait for letters for this bastard. The sun was just at its zenith, which means it was terribly hot now. Suddenly, the boy noticed that a huge crowd had gathered around and was carefully looking at something. In the center of the circle was some grandfather who apparently decided to use a secret acupuncture technique to cure a sick person. It turns out that the guy had serious health problems, but for some reason, with the help of the most ordinary needle, the old man managed to restore his health. Even the patient himself simply cannot believe what is happening right now because he has already lost all hope of salvation. As soon as everyone saw the effect of his treatment, they immediately began to ask him to do the same with them. But it turns out that the grandfather is too busy a man. Suddenly, someone walks into the crowd and attracts attention, telling them not to be deceived by this scammer. Let them catch this old bastard as soon as possible, because it turns out he does simply terrible things to his patients, plays poker with them. It seems they have never heard of the Hippocratic Oath. Of course, everyone immediately began to discuss such terrible news, and were especially surprised by the guy who had just been cured. Apparently, he didn't want to play cards with the old man. After the old man realized that things smelled of frying, he tried to run away from here as quickly as possible, but this turned out to be not so easy. Everyone started screaming for the damned old man to be caught as quickly as possible, and he was just running towards our main character. And he was already completely disappointed, because such nonsense simply cannot be true, just as you can cure a person with the help of an ordinary needle. But the old man managed to accelerate to the speed of the flash himself, and simply knocked down our boy along the way. Not only did he knock him down, but he also started shouting after him so that the main character would look more carefully where he was going. Why the hell does this old guy think of himself as if he's in charge here, and that guy in the background realized that the main character is an ordinary worker? Meanwhile, evening had almost come and the boy came to some place from where loud sounds were coming. Surprisingly, he notices how two old men were talking and one asked the other to rest. Damn it, it turns out that this is the same old man who pushed him while he was running away from the townspeople. Well, now a showdown will definitely begin here. Exactly the face the old man had when he saw the familiar face of the boy. Now he realized that a couple of blows right in the face would definitely land on him. Why the hell did this gentleman decide that he needed to scold the main character for not showing up at home for too long? And also asked him to escort the new precious guest into the house and make sure that he would be comfortable here. Of course, he simply must obey the orders of his master, so he will have to escort this old deceiver into the house. But the old man still turns out to be far from so ordinary, and since now he and the main character are left alone, he can tell something. He was the guy who crashed into him on the street, and it was because of him that the old man was practically caught. The boy simply said that he didn't see him and asked for forgiveness. But the old man says that even without his help, that guy has long become spoiled. The main character carefully watched the old man, and apparently he occupied an incredibly high position in society, since even his master was familiar with him. Yes, this damn old man turns out to be a real wizard, because with the help of his needles, he was able to make the guys have the strength to play Monopoly again, and the ladies would want to play board games again. But the boy was not at all delighted with his stories, because he was sure that the old man was the most common deceiver. Of course, the old man noticed that they doubted him, so he decides to prove that he really has such incredible power. After which, he simply points his finger at some girl and promises that within the next day, he will definitely play poker with her. He pointed to a girl named Jong Soon, but the main character was absolutely sure that the old man wouldn't succeed, and what was he going to do after the girl didn't even look in his direction? The main character decided to calm the old man down a little, and said that he would definitely believe everything he told him. But he was only angered by the boy's words. Let him order the girl to set the table, while he himself should stand aside and carefully watch what is happening. For now, the main character had to prepare well, because from tomorrow, he turns into his personal servant in this house. 
It turns out that all the students in this house sleep in the same room. Everyone slept so well in this house and only the main character himself could not sleep. You might think that he couldn't sleep because his friends snored terribly, but he constantly thought that this damn old guy would actually decide to play Monopoly with a girl that he didn't deserve at all. If so, he decides that the old man will have very serious problems, and in general, there is absolutely no point in worrying about such things, and it is better to go to bed as soon as possible. The main character tried to fall asleep, thinking that most likely the old man was crying now because the girl refused to play Monopoly with him, but suddenly strange sounds appeared, as if someone was throwing dice. And the grandfather, it turns out, right at that moment decided to use his secret techniques that make people want to play Monopoly with him. And apparently they worked very well on this girl. While he praised the fact that now she could play board games with him on equal terms, the girl could no longer wait for the moment when they both started playing Monopoly. Of course, the main character lost the bet they made this morning because he is right now playing a board game with a real beauty. The main character himself was already right there and was simply shocked that he had succeeded. This old man was really able to play Monopoly with her. We have to carry out a small reconstruction of the house, and now it has a convenient observation deck through which the entire game can be seen. But what the hell? How could this even happen? He's just an ordinary old man who deceives people. Was it really the girl he liked so much? But there was definitely something wrong here, because his girlfriend was definitely not the type who would play board games with a person immediately after she met him. He carefully peers into her eyes and understands that because of them, she seems like a completely different person. Now the main character is simply trying to understand what strange technique that old man used to play Monopoly with such a beautiful lady. And the old man himself was so happy now because he had a unique opportunity to play Monopoly with the younger generation. He considered her an incredibly beautiful girl, and that is why he could not understand how she managed to constantly hide her desire to play Monopoly. Even the old man himself had never met such talented players as her because it was simply incredible when a girl played like a real pro. But for the boy himself, everything that happened was a real mystery. How such an old man like him could have so much strength to play Monopoly, it seems that he is not at all shocked that he is so good at playing. Now the main character began to treat the old man completely differently and even wanted to learn his secret because it was not just that he could play Monopoly at such an old age. In fact, it was really incredible because no matter how hard the girl tries to win, she simply cannot, and now she has lost altogether. After which the old man with the face of a real Sigma simply leaves the room, leaving his opponent just lying on the floor in defeat. Our main character instantly appears in the corridor and tries to ask the old man about his secret techniques as soon as possible. I'll tell you even more. The boy simply bowed his head before him as before his master and asked to be taken as his student. Of course, he asked for forgiveness for not believing and not recognizing the master earlier. He is simply an incredible person. And the old man himself decided that it was time to pick up the phone and laugh a little at the guy. Apparently, his eyes were given not only for decoration, but the old man himself remembers very well that the main character called him a deceiver. And now he is independently going to become an apprentice to the deceiver. The boy immediately begins to look for an excuse, saying that he simply didn't know that his grandfather was such a powerful man. Of course, he is not going to take such an idiot as a student. He asks him to stop these requests and quickly leave here. And although it seems that the old man has not yet completely driven him away, from now on he asks to address him more respectfully and call him a great master. Damn. What despair. Now the boy thinks that his life is over. There was no need to mock that old man. The actions are postponed to the next day. The grandfather had already woken up and noticed that someone had stolen his slippers. But the main character, of course, appears immediately in front of him with a pair of clean shoes that he has already washed, of course. He addresses him as a great master. What the hell is this idiot doing? The old man is just shocked that he stole his shoes to bring back later. But the boy does not lose hope of starting to study with the great master. He is even ready to bring him shoes himself, just to learn all the secrets of his art. But the sage has a strange attitude towards what the main character is trying to do. Does he really think that he will agree to take him on as a student if he helps him in everything? The master simply takes his slippers and leaves with his head held high. Next, we are shown a conversation between the old man and the master of this temple. It seems they were laughing at something. But it was very strange for the master to be in this place, as if someone was constantly looking at him. Of course, this was the main character who never gave up his dream of becoming his student. Damn, just look at that incredible smile. This guy is definitely ready to do absolutely anything to learn from him. But the old man immediately decides to destroy his dreams by saying that not every person can learn his techniques, so he shouldn't even hope to comprehend his art. In the next frame, the boy was simply chopping wood and thinking about how to convince the old man to take him on as an apprentice. Still, it was simply incredible that the boy had already managed to chop so much firewood 
but was already too tired. Suddenly a beautiful lady appears next to him and asks him to share his firewood. Like a real man, of course, he agrees, but it seems that Madame noticed something strange. The main character looked incredibly tired and his whole face was red. Maybe he should rest, damn. Now the main character is definitely in a terrible situation, especially after he saw them playing Monopoly yesterday. Of course, he is not going to just show that he is embarrassed and says that everything is completely normal with him. But she's clearly not going to just believe his words because even his hands were too warm. He should definitely rest before returning to work. The lady heard that the new doctor who came to their temple was incredibly talented, so he urgently needed to be taken to him. And it would be better for the main character not to forget that if he cannot work normally, he will be punished, so he better improve his health as soon as possible. Next, we are shown that the old man had already found himself sick and was simply holding the girl's hand, although she said that everything was completely normal with her. The girl says that in fact the main character was very bad and she was completely fine. This was somehow strange in the master's opinion because he looked completely healthy. The girl decided that it would be better to leave them here alone and she herself was going to return to work as soon as possible. The situation, of course, does not suit the old man and now he will have to really cure the guy. But the old man seemed to suddenly activate his abilities and notice something strange in the guy. It seems that the old man is going to attack him. What the hell is happening to him? Why is he acting so strange? And our main character turns out to be just an incredibly pumped up Giga Chad, and the old man now wonders who he even is. Where could such incredible power come from from the most ordinary servant who works in the temple? Only true masters could have such power. Noticing that this guy still has incredible potential, he decides that he can still take him on as his student. Of course, everything was exactly like this. The main character still did not get rid of this dream. But he will only return after completing one task, of course. He will teach him his technique and only then send him to complete it. The boy has already been walking towards his goal for too long, so he agrees to complete absolutely any task. After which night has already fallen, and it seems that our boy has come to some very strange place. Meanwhile, it turns out there was a river there and the girl just came here to rest. The boy himself had already managed to reach his destination and only wanted to complete the task. Damn it, it turns out that the old man decided to give him the task of watching the girls walk around here, and what kind of strange training is this? The only problem was that there were absolutely all the girls who were in the temple, and it seemed that he was going to continue his training. Despite the fact that this was a training session, the boy still felt strange, but he immediately threw these thoughts away because the master simply could not be wrong. While he was thinking that it would be better for him not to get caught in such a situation, the branch decided that his covert operation must fail. Of course, all the girls who were there were very scared because they heard some strange sound. In the light of the moon, the lady simply sat on a stone and rested after an incredibly hard day. And the guy just sat and looked at her, and then he begins to remember that it was Akmi who worried all the time from childhood and took care of him as if he were a younger brother. Yes, she really became like an older sister to him, even helping him with the most basic things. And she constantly said that the main character was already too old, and that soon he would become a real man. And now it's simply impossible for him to believe the fact that the girl constantly hid the fact that she can play poker so cool. He definitely needed to gather more material for research, just like the real Jiraiya from the Naruto anime. But in the place where he was hiding, there are even more branches, and it goes without saying that the girl heard this sound. The second madam also began to worry. Maybe there was something wrong with her older sister. But still, she tries to pretend that everything was completely normal so as not to scare her sister again. It was already quite late, which is why Okmi decided that it was time to start returning home. The main character, meanwhile, found just a great place to hide, and it seems that the girls didn't even see him. It was necessary to leave this territory as soon as possible. He had to leave much earlier than they could see him. But the lady herself was looking in his direction all this time and understood perfectly well that it was Sung Dal. And here is our old man who once again decided to read his favorite manga in which there were the most beautiful girls. Of course, she starts laughing like an evil genius because they told about different techniques for playing board games. And if suddenly the old man can apply them, he will definitely win any opponent. Suddenly, the main character decides that it's enough to read the manga and suddenly bursts into his room. It's immediately clear that he had to run a huge distance. Of course, he immediately gets out of bed out of fear and begins to scold the main character. Wasn't this idiot taught that he needed to knock because he could go to the other world ahead of time? But the boy tries to quickly tell about what happened to him. The main character simply could not believe that it was the most ordinary training. It doesn't matter to him at all what the old man thinks about it, but for the main character, it was too strange. He could have just incredibly big problems if someone found him. But the old man was angered by these words. But how dare he even ask such questions when he is being taught by a truly holy teacher? 
When suddenly a strong blow instantly lands on his stupid head, it seems that it was too strange, but now he understands much more. It turns out that he hit him on the head with all his strength with his pipe, but it just hurt terribly. But the old man thought that one blow would not be enough for the main character. It would be better for him to add a couple more so that he would understand everything exactly. The damn idiot. He instantly dodges the attack, saying that he already understood everything, but he still asks the teacher to tell him why such strange training was needed. The old man was simply shocked by such impudence, and how did this kid even manage to ask such a stupid question? And yet he is going to give such a strange lesson to the main character, saying that the style of women playing board games is completely different from men. If the boy carefully carried out his task, then everything should be clear to him, of course, that he did everything exactly as the master said. However, in this book, with the help of which he did all his magical techniques, only methods that work for guys were depicted. And from that very moment, the old man had a question where he could find out what magical techniques could work on girls. It's clear that now the main character has also become interested in studying magical powers. After all, he was not at all interested in sitting and studying all these boring magical techniques. He just wanted to quickly understand how to please some girl. But this is exactly what the old man was trying to teach him, and this idiot constantly interrupted him. He has absolutely no training in communicating with adults. Now the old man begins to give him clear instructions on how to work with his consciousness correctly. He just needed to close his eyes and remember everything that he saw during that surveillance. It seems that he is starting to succeed. The main character closed his eyes and clearly remembered the very picture that was in front of him then. But now he begins to tell him that there are special chakra points that can make a person want to play Monopoly or any other board game. But the boy was somehow not very sure of what the teacher was telling him. At this moment, the old man definitely regretted taking this idiot as his student. Perhaps he had already become insanity since he agreed to such a thing. Last chance, the old man decides to give him one last chance, and if suddenly he fails to complete the task, the old man will simply tell him to leave and never study again, after which he says that Jong Sun should come soon. Of course, he was simply in shock after hearing that a beautiful girl was supposed to come, but he still didn't know the reason for her appearance. Meanwhile, the lady herself was simply walking down the street and trying to understand why the old master decided to invite her to his place. Had he really decided to play Monopoly with her like yesterday? Remembering how she played the board game yesterday, she simply asked all the gods so that this would not happen again. It seems that she does not like playing Monopoly, but she still had many questions about why she acted so strangely yesterday. Now the lady was simply trying to convince herself that she was completely different from the guys with whom she was going to meet, and that the game of Monopoly definitely should not be repeated. Going inside the temple, the girl greeted her master and asked the reason why he decided to call her. He asked her to quickly pass, but the lady was surprised that the boy was also here. Why the hell did he even forget here? When suddenly a couple of targeted blows land on her back, it is immediately clear that the old man has already become a master of his craft and can cast spells without any problems. Instantly, the girl's behavior becomes completely different, and now the desire to play Monopoly returns again. All the same, the old man simply made it so that the girl could not move, and now gave the main character an order to use all the techniques that he had learned and play a board game with her. He also said that this was the last chance for the boy to become his student, and if he didn't succeed, he could say goodbye to him. The situation, of course, was simply terrible. He urgently needed to come up with everything he had learned from the master and make sure they played Monopoly. Also incredibly difficult to believe in such a turn of events because he had a real opportunity to play Monopoly with a really beautiful girl. The problem was that his best friend always liked this girl, and it was probably wrong to play Monopoly with her, although he so badly wanted to learn from this master, so he could also play board games. Madame herself is just starting to cry because she didn't want to play board games at all. Even before she came here, she thought that the situation could turn out this way. In fear, she tries to run away and asks the main character to leave too, but the technique that the old man applied was still in effect, so she definitely couldn't escape from here. Now our boy had just the perfect opportunity to start playing Monopoly. He just needed to get the playing field and start the game. Of course, she still didn't want to play board games, but the main character thinks completely differently and has already made a playing field. Damn it. He also turns out to be just an excellent player. Not every expert in the game could lay out the playing field so quickly. But they both felt too strange, as if the whole room was one big fire. But still, it was better to play Monopoly now. What a pity that air conditioning was never invented in ancient Korea. It was good that he remembered what the teacher told him, because there were special tactics and even points if you start using them correctly. The game will become much easier. And while our boy is passing the last exam, our video is coming to an end. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and like, so that the new part comes out as soon as possible.